Okay, I am totally intrigued. Yes. Um, in this, you know, things that you basically want to make sure yes. that you don't say or that you consider right. before talking to your wife who's had right. just had your beautiful, beautiful child. Yes, she worked so hard in carrying that baby for you for so long. Um, and now <laughs> we're going to talk about some things you should and shouldn't say. And also, like, I think some of these can apply just in, to life in general. Okay? Right. All right. So, the psychologist and author who wrote this article, her name is Molly Millwood, and she's the one that came up with these few things that all partners should understand about new moms, um, which can make your transition smoother because let's face it, it is rough out there yes. after you have a child, okay? Yep. So the first one is that they are, we are, sensitive about our looks. So there's lots going on hormonally. Our clothes aren't gonna fit, we're gonna be tired. We have this whole new life scheme that's been ushered in to us. Um, and we don't need people commenting on what we look like. Right. You know. Remember my housekeeper? I told you that story. Oh, sure. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was right after I'd had the baby, and I she was. Um, yeah. Um, she was asking me, "What's wrong with your stomach?" Mm. I guess it, it hadn't gone down as much as mm. she thought it would. She had mm. children herself. Interesting. She would not let it go. Right. I ran out of the house crying my mother's like what but I was so hormonal she was like obsessed with how big I still was. right I was like my mom's like drop it drop yes. it drop it I went and drove around the block I almost uh, went to go get ice cream but what? I figured that wasn't a good idea <laughs> I was like lay off the I ice mean, cream I just do not understand why people feel the need to comment on things I, I mean this was a solid Dolores six. what were you thinking <laughs> sorry I had to call her <laughs> This is a solid six or seven weeks after I had Isaac, but I was back at work and somebody said, when are you going to have And I about baby? punched him. I about punched that When are you going to have the Don't baby? You. And I was like, I already had the baby. That's why I was also gone for two months. <laughs> Anywho, so guys. So not only do I look awesome, you also didn't notice that I was gone. For, six, <laughs> for two months. <laughs> It's fine. What's wrong with people? Every, okay. Everything's fine. Um, they say, you know, in turn, try to give compliments instead of. Um, yes. But make sure that your compliments are authentic. I think that goes for any compliment that you give to somebody. Absolutely. Make it authentic. Okay. Um, the next one is huge. It's sort of uh, cumbersome because there's lots that is entailed in this one, but they can feel burdened by responsibility. So while the mom feels resentment when the dad goes back to work, so if your partner gets off time with you or you're lucky that both of you have um, a substantial maternity leave, you know that feeling when the person who's been helping you, whether it's your mother or a family member or your partner, it is terrifying when you see them walk out the door for the first time and you're left with this little thing that you have to keep alive. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so they say though to- <laughs> It's like, <laughs> where are you going? Wait, <laughs> right. come back. Right, you do sort of have like these moments of panic, but the author said, this is interesting, she said to make sure that you feel the other person's pain, so to speak, too, because maybe they feel displaced and they don't yes. want to leave and they feel bad and they're just wondering, like, how can I fit in in this situation, too? Yes, and a lot of men who are watching mm -hmm. might relate. My um, Jim felt this way, for sure, with the first child. Right. I know, I keep going like that. Yeah. Um, you have a baby in there. That my mom mm -hmm. was helping. I was, of course, you know, it's me sure. and my mom, and he sort of just felt... Um, um, and especially if you are breastfeeding and you're not yeah. bottle feeding. Right. So it was really important. I always incorp incorporated a bottle so he mm -hmm. could do a bottle feeding. Yes. That's Any nice. little way. That's also smart to do that. Yes. From my personal experience, because then you're, I was told with James not to introduce a bottle for so long, so I didn't, and then he wanted nothing to do with the bottle. Then I was the only food source. And that is just and not that's, fun that's, sometimes. That's yeah. Fair. That's a lot of work. It um, is. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, every couple is different. I do remember. Um, my the first Lee got up with me every time oh. feeding diaper change and then the second one he was like I'll see you in the morning yeah and I was like that's fine one of us has to be right with the, well slept with the third that's one hard. is he gonna like go on vacation <laughs> he might not even be home <laughs> he's gonna be like I'll catch you in about six weeks <laughs> yes, well, he right. did say sidebar what, what he did he said, say he said I'm getting a little so my husband has to uh, sometimes would travel with the Braves the baseball team if they went to the World Series okay and I don't want to jinx anything but he said to me, wow, I'm getting a little nervous because the Braves are playing so well. And I was like, were you going to miss the birth of your child? He's like, no. And I was like, well, then you have nothing to be nervous about. Right. So everything's fine. Oh, my gosh. Do we I have mean, to start pumping the Braves? No, 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 kidding. no, no, no. Braves. I want them to win. Go Braves. They're amazing. And go, <laughs> yes. and go baby go girl Go baby can. a week early. Yes. OK. okay. Um, the, and this kind of coincides with what we were just saying. But they're afraid they're not doing a good enough job. Um, so she says that hearing validation from your partner is particularly important here because 
you obviously see each other at your best and your worst when you're trying to get the baby to feed and the baby's not sleeping and you just want a little validation for I'm yeah. doing a good job. This is we're making the best decisions that we can, and we're yes. just trying to both get through this. Absolutely, you know? and I think we have time for number four as well. Okay, good. Um, there, <laughs> this is interesting. Your partner might be anxious about all the advice they're getting. Everybody yes. has something to say, especially if an in-law is staying with you. Yeah. Um, they might be a little loose with the advice. But every, just keep in mind, everybody's trying to help. I know. Okay? It is true. Trying to help. But when all right. else fails, just call Laura from Mom's On Call. God, I love her. <laughs> yes. God, I love her. I mean, yeah. I'm not having another one, but right. if I were, sure. Yeah, she's in care. She oh, is. Hey, Lisa, one more. Oh, okay, good. She, Laura, wrapped, swaddled. She up so that tight, and then she did technique. this thing where yes. she was, it was like a roller coaster. I, I know what he did. Fell asleep. Yep. I was like, I don't know what's going on here, but I took a video of it. Yeah, you have tried to. to. She's incredible. Yeah. Text me after later. the show. Call yes. me. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So they don't want you to ask. This is the last one. How can I help? So even if it's well intentioned, a statement like that can anger a new mom. Basically, just walk on eggshells. Okay. Right. We're very hormonal. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we want, it's true. and we don't know when we want it. So That's, just be kind. Just be kind. Yes. Just and sh shower us with love and, and flowers. <laughs> yes. But don't ask us how you can help. Right. Right. Love just that step care. in there. Okay. Good. Right. I hope we help some people. We did. We have dads everywhere. <laughs>